Brain toxicity and inflammation becomes more and more of a health crisis every day, and you may be facing symptoms of it and not even know it. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the top symptoms that you have to watch out for. Hey, Wellness Warriors, I'm Dr. Nick Zorowski, and I started my holistic health practice in order to help people just like you take control of your health naturally because true health only comes naturally. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and share with me your thoughts down in the comments below. And something cool I wanted to share with you is that I have a brand new YouTube channel. It's Dr. Z TV. On this YouTube channel, I break down the news and give you a holistic perspective on it. You may not know this, but most of the news is funded by big pharmaceutical companies. So therefore, you get their science, you get their opinions, and you get their narrative. Now, for anybody who's trying to improve their health naturally, that's not what you need, and that's not what you wanna see. So on Dr. Z, TV, you're going to get a holistic spin to the news. I have a couple videos up over there right now. Go check them out after you learn how to improve your brain health naturally. I tell my patients all the time that the brain can become a very scary place. What can happen is you're living a completely normal life, everything's great, and then all of a sudden the rug's pulled out from underneath you and you develop a psychiatric disorder and you can't cope with life anymore. I was working with a gentleman once and he had a beautiful family. He had a great career and this very thing happened to him. He was working as the executive pilot for a large company managing their whole fleet of jets. And when I first met him, he was just starting to deal with a little bit of anxiety and depression, but it turned severe in nature very quickly. Now, upon my analysis, I realized there was problems with toxicity in the body, there was problems with inflammation, and also an autoimmune disorder occurring. So what I wanted to focus on doing is getting proper nutrients to the brain, detoxing the brain, and also bringing down inflammation. Unfortunately though, he wanted to go a different direction using medication. Now, I didn't agree with it, but everybody has to make their own choice. Now, I didn't see the gentleman for a long period of time, and then I bumped into him in a store about a year later, and quite frankly, it was a really awkward encounter because he saw me, I saw him, but then he pretended he didn't see me, and he walked by me like twice. And then we just went on our way, and I understand he didn't want to talk to me. That's completely fine. I was cool with it. But then things came to a head when we were walking down the same aisle, walking right at each other. So then he started talking to me and started to tell me what was going on in his life. And it was extremely sad to hear. He had lost his job. His family had basically kicked him out of the house. His wife told me he had to leave and he was living with his parents. And life was literally pulled right out from underneath him. And it was sad to see because I knew exactly what was happening and he didn't choose it to happen, but he also didn't take the right path in order to solve the issue at hand. And when he went to many doctors, they didn't give him the right advice. It's important to realize that the issues he was facing is not spontaneous or random chance. It's the symptoms of brain inflammation. It's the symptoms of brain toxicity. And these two things both lead to many psychiatric disorders. Now we talked about anxiety and depression, but let's look at some of the other very common symptoms associated with brain inflammation and toxicity. First on our list is gonna be mood swings. Okay, this is very common for someone to be very, very irritable when they're having this going on. Next is going to be memory problems and brain fog. I have a lot of firsthand experience with that if you've read my story. Next is going to be uh, confusion and sleep disorders, exhaustion, and this is referring to like brain exhaustion. I refer to this often as poor brain endurance. Let's say you're doing a task and your brain just fatigues out on you very quickly, or maybe you just do... Uh, a half hour or an hour of work and your brain feel like it's just totally fried, that would be a good example. From there, we have psychological distress, changes in touch or sensation, headaches, a lot of people have this, vertigo, coordination problems, digestive issues, pins and needles feelings. And usually when you have this going on and you have brain toxicity and inflammation, it's not just one symptom. It's typically multiple and they're very severe in nature. Now we can all agree that our brain is incredibly important for our overall health and well-being. I mean, it's the operating system of the body and our body knows it's important. And that's why we have this big thick skull up here to protect it from physical harm. And then we have something called the blood brain barrier that protects our brain from chemicals entering into the brain. But as we become sick and unhealthy, we develop inflammation, we develop autoimmune conditions, we develop something called neurotoxicity, this blood-brain barrier becomes compromised and we start to develop something called leaky brain. As I said earlier, if you've heard my story, 
I have firsthand experience with all of this and I've experienced many of these symptoms I talked about. When leaky brain occurs, the blood brain barrier fails to keep out the harmful substances that do not belong near the brain. And as that blood brain barrier is compromised, these harmful chemicals pass right through it and go right to the brain. And what it can do is literally change the way that your brain is functioning, causing psychological distress, and also just change the way that you perceive the world around you, causing havoc in your life. Your whole worldview could change. You could be somebody who's very loving and caring, self-aware, fulfilled, happy, and overnight, the rug's pulled out from underneath you and you're fearful, lots of distress in your life now. You are somebody who's negative and angry and you're panicking all the time. I mean, this is something we see every single day. I mean, just look around you. How many people have severe anxiety? How many people have depression? They're taking antidepressants and then they're starting to develop further psychiatric disorders and the problems keep getting worse. I actually stumbled across this, just taking care of patients. And how I was able to help them is I basically just started focusing on brain detox. And it was incredible because it was never my goal to fix their depression or fix their psychiatric disorder. That's not really why they came to me in the first place. But as we realized that they had inflammation and they had a lot of brain toxicity and we detoxed the brain and we focused on getting proper nutrition to the brain, all of a sudden, all these different symptoms started to go away. Now you've probably heard of leaky gut syndrome, but this may be the first time that you're hearing of leaky brain. Now, interestingly enough, both of them in many cases occur at the same time. Some of the very things that cause inflammation in the gut, such as environmental toxins, bacterial imbalances, or even food sensitivities, will drive inflammation throughout the entire body, weakening the blood brain barrier, opening up the door for a lot of environmental chemicals to enter into the brain and cause this whole issue to occur, this brain toxicity. Now, some of the very common chemicals that we're exposed to that really harm the brain are gonna be things like fuels, mold, mold is a huge one across the board, carbon monoxide, cleaning products, okay, that's another big one. It's estimated that the average home has over 64 chemicals worth of cleaning products. So we have to be really careful about that and we need to get rid of those cleaning products and get the healthy ones in there. Uh, the other thing that we have to look out for is pesticides and herbicides. We really have to pay attention to these herbicides and pesticides that are in our foods and also our crops. Next, nail polish remover and perfumes, mercury, lead and heavy metals. This is a huge one. I can't tell you how many people I work with helping them remove heavy metals from the deep tissues of the body. When we look at heavy metals, mercury specifically likes to lodge itself in the deep fat tissue, specifically the brain. Lead likes to go to the bones, but either way, they're very neurotoxic. And then next is gonna be drugs and alcohol. With all those toxins in mind, it's so important to make sure that we're removing them from our lifestyle, okay? Step one in actually getting healthy here is removing the source of the toxic exposure. When we look at the source of the toxic exposure, we're talking about this cleaning chemicals. We're talking about your beauty products. I mean, the soaps that you're using, the lotions that you're using. You know, it's estimated that the average woman puts over 200 different chemicals on her body before she even leaves the house in the morning. Men also are known for using using a lot of beauty products full of chemicals. We have to make sure that we're limiting toxic exposure at all costs. We have to think about mold in our home. All these different toxins are going to have an enormous impact on the brain. And the unfortunate truth is that the medical community has failed to acknowledge the relationship between psychiatric symptoms, with brain toxicity and inflammation. And just like the gentleman I mentioned at the beginning of this video, typically people are put on brain altering pharmaceuticals and their problems tend to get worse over time. So what happens after that, they tend to give them more brain altering pharmaceuticals. And let me tell you, this can be some scary stuff because they have nasty side effects. I had a friend that was put on antidepressants and he tried killing himself, okay? That is a nasty side effect. Now. The reason that this is so scary is because it will steal your life out from under you and it'll change the life that you once had and that you once knew. So if you're ever dealing with psychiatric symptoms, it's always worth investigating how you can get to the root cause and focus on brain detox. Now, if you want to learn more on how to detox your brain naturally, watch this video right here. ALA is really great is because it has a very low molecular weight. It's easily absorbed in the gastrointestinal tract. It also is able to cross the blood brain barrier. So it's able to actually get to the brain in the first place. And then it supports recycling and regeneration of key antioxidants like glutathione, vitamin C, and vitamin 